Mark sat at his cluttered desk, a stack of unopened mail in front of him. He sighed, rubbing his temples. It had been a long day at the office, filled with endless meetings and deadlines. All he wanted was a quiet evening to himself. He started sorting through the mail, bills, advertisements, and a few letters. One envelope caught his eye. It was a plain white envelope with no return address. Curious, he opened it. Inside was a single sheet of paper, neatly folded. He unfolded it and began to read. Dear Mark, I've admired you from afar for a while now. You don't know me, but I see you every day. Your kindness, your smile, and the way you carry yourself have all captivated me. I hope this letter finds you well. Maybe one day, we can meet and I can tell you this in person. With admiration, your secret admirer Mark's heart raced as he read the letter. He couldn't believe what he was reading. Who could have sent this? He glanced around his apartment as if expecting someone to jump out and reveal themselves. But he was alone. The letter left him with more questions than answers. Over the next few days, Mark couldn't stop thinking about the letter. Who was this secret admirer? He started paying closer attention to the people around him, wondering if any of them could be the author. He looked for signs, a lingering glance or a shy smile, but nothing stood out. A week later, another letter arrived. Mark's heart pounded as he opened it. Dear Mark, I hope my last letter didn't startle you. I just wanted you to know how much you mean to me. Your presence brings light to my days, even if you don't know it. I'm not ready to reveal myself yet, but I promise I will when the time is right. Until then, please know that you are admired and cherished. With warmth, your secret admirer Mark felt a strange sense of comfort reading the letter. Whoever this person was, they seemed sincere. He found himself looking forward to the next letter, wondering what it would say. The letters continued to arrive, each one more heartfelt than the last. Mark began to cherish them, reading and rereading each one. They were a bright spot in his otherwise monotonous life. One evening, Mark's best friend, Lisa, came over for dinner. As they chatted over pizza, Mark decided to share the letters with her. Lisa, I have something to show you, he said, pulling out the stack of letters. Lisa's eyes widened as she read them, wow, Mark. These are incredible. Do you have any idea who could be sending them? Mark shook his head. No idea. I've been trying to figure it out, but I can't. Lisa smiled. Well, whoever it is, they obviously care about you a lot. Maybe you should write back. Write back? Mark asked, surprised. Yeah, why not? Leave a letter in your mailbox address to your secret admirer. Maybe they'll respond. Mark thought about it for a moment. It was worth a try. The next day, he wrote a letter. Dear secret admirer, thank you for your kind words. Your letters have brightened my days more than you know. I'm curious about you and would love to meet you when you're ready. Until then, please know that your letters mean a lot to me. Sincerely, Marquis placed the letter in his mailbox, hoping for a response. A few days later, he found an envelope with his name on it. Dear Mark, I'm so glad you wrote back. Your words mean the world to me. 
I'm not quite ready to reveal myself yet, but I promise I will soon. Until then, please keep writing. Your letters make me feel closer to you. With affection, your secret admirer and so, a correspondence began. Mark and his secret admirer exchanged letters regularly, each one deepening their connection. Mark found himself thinking about his admirer constantly, wondering who they were and what they looked like. He imagined scenarios where they would finally meet, each one more romantic than the last. One evening, as Mark was leaving work, he noticed a woman standing by the entrance, looking around nervously. She was holding an envelope, and Mark's heart skipped a beat. Could this be her? Excuse me, he said, approaching her. Are you waiting for someone? The woman looked up, her eyes widening in surprise. Oh, um, no. I mean, yes, but... Mark smiled, trying to put her at ease. It's okay. I'm Mark. She blushed, looking down at the envelope in her hand. I'm Emily. I think, I think these are for you. She handed him the envelope, and Mark recognized the handwriting immediately. It was his secret admirer. He felt a rush of emotions as he opened the envelope and read the letter inside. Dear Mark, this is it. I'm ready to meet you. I'll be waiting at the park near your office at 5 p.m. I hope you'll be there. With all my heart, Emily Mark looked up at Emily, his heart pounding. So it's you. You're my secret admirer. Emily nodded, her eyes filled with emotion. Yes. I hope you're not disappointed. Mark shook his head, smiling. Not at all. In fact, I'm relieved. I've been wanting to meet you for so long. They walked to the park together, talking and laughing as if they had known each other for years. Mark felt a connection with Emily that he had never felt with anyone else. It was as if all the pieces of his life were finally falling into place. As they sat on a bench overlooking the pond, Emily took Mark's hand. I'm sorry it took me so long to reveal myself. I was scared. Mark squeezed her hand gently. It's okay. I'm just glad we finally met. Emily smiled, her eyes shining with tears. Me too. I never thought I could feel this happy. From that day on, Mark and Emily were inseparable. They spent their days exploring the city, trying new restaurants, and sharing their dreams and fears. Mark couldn't believe how lucky he was to have found someone like Emily. She was everything he had ever wanted and more. One evening, as they were walking along the beach, Mark stopped and turned to Emily. There's something I need to tell you. Emily looked at him, her eyes filled with concern. What is it? Mark took a deep breath. I've been offered a job in another city. It's a great opportunity, but it means leaving everything behind, including you. Emily's eyes widened in shock. When would you have to leave? In a month, Mark replied. But I don't want to make any decisions without you. Emily took a deep breath, her mind racing. I don't want to lose you, Mark. But this is your dream. You have to take it. Mark's eyes filled with tears. What about us? We'll figure it out, Emily said, her voice trembling. We've come this far, and I believe we can make it work. 
Long distance won't be easy, but I can't imagine my life without you. Mark pulled her into a tight embrace, their hearts beating as one. Thank you, Emily. I love you. I love you too, Mark, Emily whispered, her tears mingling with his. The next few weeks were a whirlwind of emotions as they prepared for Mark's departure. They spent every moment they could together, savoring the time they had left. They also made plans for the future, discussing how they would stay connected despite the distance. On the day of Mark's departure, Emily accompanied him to the airport. As they stood at the gate, their hands clasped tightly, they shared one last, lingering kiss. Promise me we'll make this work, Mark said, his voice choked with emotion. I promise, Emily replied, tears streaming down her face. We'll make it work. Mark boarded the plane, and Emily watched as it took off, carrying the man she loved to a new adventure. She felt a mix of sadness and hope, knowing that their love was strong enough to withstand the distance. Over the next few months, Mark and Emily maintained their connection through late-night video calls, heartfelt letters, and surprise visits. The distance was challenging, but their love only grew stronger. They supported each other's dreams and found ways to stay close despite the miles between them. One evening, as Emily sat in her apartment, her phone buzzed with a message from Mark. Check your mailbox. I have a surprise for you. Mark, curious, Emily rushed to her mailbox and found a small package. Inside was a beautiful locket with a photo of the two of them inside. There was also a letter. Dear Emily, I wanted to give you something to remind you of our time together. This locket holds a piece of my heart, just as you do. I can't wait to see you again and hold you in my arms. Until then, know that I love you more than words can say. Love, Mark tears filled Emily's eyes as she held the locket close. She felt a renewed sense of hope and determination. Their love was worth every challenge, every moment of longing. Months turned into a year, and Mark's project in the new city was nearing completion. He called Emily one evening, his voice filled with excitement. Emily, I have amazing news, he said. The project is almost finished, and I've been offered a permanent position here. But I don't want to make any decisions without you. Emily's heart raced. What do you mean? I want you to come to the new city, Emily, Mark said. We can build a life together here, just like we've always dreamed. Emily felt a mix of emotions, excitement, fear, and overwhelming love. Mark, I would love that. But it means leaving everything behind. I know it's a big decision, Mark said gently. But we can create something beautiful together. I believe in us. Emily took a deep breath, her heart filled with love and determination. I believe in us too, Mark. Let's do it. With renewed hope, Emily began preparing for her move to the new city. It was a daunting task, but the thought of being with Mark made it all worthwhile. She said goodbye to her friends and family, packed up her belongings, and boarded a plane to start a new chapter with the man she loved. When she arrived in the new city, Mark was there to greet her, his eyes filled with love and joy. They embraced tightly, their hearts finally at peace. Welcome home, Mark whispered. Home, Emily echoed, feeling a sense of belonging she had never known before. 
Together, they built a life filled with love, adventure, and creativity. They supported each other's dreams, celebrated each other's successes, and found joy in the simple moments. Their love story was a testament to the power of connection, resilience, and the unbreakable bond between two hearts meant to be together. As they stood together, watching the sunset over the city, Emily rested her head on Mark's shoulder. Do you ever think about how far we've come? she asked, a smile playing on her lips. Every day, Mark replied, kissing her forehead. And I wouldn't change a thing. Their love had endured, and it burned brighter than ever. They had faced the challenges of life together, and their love had only grown stronger. Emily knew that no matter what the future held, they would face it together, hand in hand, their love a beacon of hope and happiness. And so, their story continued, a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the unbreakable bond between two hearts meant to be together.